guys, welcome to my channel. This is my Shuggy Lovecraft. And today, what I'm going to be showing you is um, a way that Cricut is um, trying to help us to overcome these glitches, these frustration that we've had, we've been having um, in regards to um, freezing of design space, not being able to pull up your projects, especially in desperate times when you need them to complete um, an order or something. Um, and, you know, it's a whole lot of frustration. I shouldn't say some frustration. It's just a whole lot of frustration. So um, a lot of people might call this a hack, but I wouldn't because this is something that they show us how to do. Um, I was a bit shocked to see how much Cricut save on your computer when working through design space. So I'm going to take you to it. So you go to Cricut.com. Then you go down to the bottom. After you pause all these lovely sale pricing, click on the word help. After you click on the word help, you're going to type in, I'm just going to paste it in because um, I looked it up already. Um, let me take out this colon, right? Semicolon right here. But design space for desktop clearing application catch. Um, all right, and then we're going to hit search. Um, here we go. Then you're going to come up to where it says troubleshooting. Okay, this is where you could troubleshoot all type of different things on Cricut. But today we're going to talk about clearing up these cache that so that your um, design space could run a little bit better. All right. So first it talked about how to do it on Windows. Okay. Um, I'm just going to show you, you know, what they're showing on here. Um, the good thing is it's picture. So you're able to see it um and kind of visualize it while you're working on clearing up your files um so it's showing you the beginning of how to do it with Cricut designs with um, pc um of course you would select um, your file explorer um, then you go to um, PC, locate your C drive, and from your C drive, you would find your user folder, as is shown here. Then from there, you will um, open up your user folder. Then you will find the name of your computer, um, as it's shown here. And then from there, you're going to open it up, and then you're going to look for where it says Cricut, des Cricut dash design dash space folder. And in that folder, you're going to find what they called the local data folder. In the local data folder, um, you're going to find two other files. Um, so you're going to select the local data folder and do you know, hold down the shift key and delete it, delete it permanently. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and launch your desktop, um, select view and um, force load your menu again. All right, and apparently this is supposed to solve the issue. Now, um, like I said, I'm gonna show it to you. Um, I'm gonna walk you through it physically as well myself. I just want you to see this picture um, so you could always relate to it, go back to it. Now let's move on to your Mac. So on your Mac, as it's shown here, um, you're gonna confirm design space is closed on your desktop. So make sure it's closed and you're not working on it. Um, then you open the terminal and then go to finder and application then utilities then terminal then type in this command as you can see right here in um, bold um, letters um, then from there you're going to close the terminal press and hold the option and control key and click on finder in dock then select relaunch, like it shows here. Then in the finder, select your hard drive in the left-hand panel, right, which is over here. Then you're going to select your user folder. And from your user folder, 
um, you're going to select user account name. Okay. And then you're going to open Cricut Design folder. And then from there, you're going to search for once again, the local data folder. And then you're going to select files within the local data folder and drag them to the trash can. And then you got to empty the trash can. Um, then launch Cricut Design Space from your desktop. Then force load the application. To force load, select view in the top left-hand corner of your system menu. Then select force load. And this should solve your issues. All right, now I am going to um, go through it step by step on a PC. I'm not on my Mac right now, so I'm going to do it on a PC. Okay. So remember, you would go find your, open up your file explorer. You will go to this PC. Then from this PC, you'll go to your Windows um, C drive. Then you'll click on that. You go to users. From users, you'll find your name of your computer. All right, from there, you're gonna look for Cricut Design Space. Then from there, you're going to look for your local data. Then you're gonna click on both of these, and then you're going to delete. Now, I can tell you, it, um, it took about 10 minutes to delete these files, guys. And I'm gonna show you. So you hit delete, and And look at this, guys. It is still running a delete, okay? And I'm going to show you how many files I've deleted. So right now, it's looking, look at this. It just keep counting. I did not know that Cricut saved this much stuff on your files. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you um, my recycle bin. All right, so look at my recycle bin, guys. Um. Here is all the updates, <laughs> a list of all the updates that's been stored on my computer um, since forever. Um, as you can see from April, it's been stored on there. So I will tell you, each time you do, uh, you do an update, you have to go and delete it, okay? So, um, so those updates that I just showed you, um, you, in order to, uh, to delete them each time, you're going to once again go back to Windows, C. Um, you're going to go to your user file. You're going to go on your name of your computer. You're going to go back into Cricut Design Space, and you're going to hit on Update. This is where you'll see all those updates that I showed you in my um, recycle bin. You will delete all those updates and only keep the last update. That is all you need. Just keep that last update, okay? Empty that recycle bin, okay? And look at this, guys. I mean, look at it. It is a lot. I did not know that um, this was over a gigabyte of just updates. Over a gigabyte of just updates. So I didn't know that they stored that much, okay? So... Once that's, um, that I'm going to leave that and let that run. And remember, one of the last thing they said to do is to go back in and force load. And once you've done all of that, guys, you're going to click in view and go to force load. This will force load and reload your Cricut design space. And hopefully, guys, um, Hopefully, guys, this work. I know personally how frustrating it can get to um, not being able to get to your projects and complete um, your projects or, you know, fulfill an order or something in time. Once again, um, this Miss Shuggy Lovecraft, and I hope this helped you as much as it helps me. And I would tell you, like I said, one, um, probably do this once or twice a week if you're heavy on doing a lot of Cricut stuff in Cricut Design Space. The moment you get an update, 
delete the previous update and use the Cricut um, troubleshooting section. Um, I found that it was very helpful. And apology to my Mac users, but as you can see, it's just as easy to do it on Mac. Um, I'm not on my Mac, so I'm not able to walk you through it. But as you can see, the picture, picture tells a thousand words. Thank you again for watching, Miss Shuggy Lovecraft. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.